Hey guys, so this is a quick tutorial about uh, Star Wayfarer. This will show you a little bit about how it works or some of the uh, things that are going on behind the scenes kind of give you an idea as to how to, um, you know, bend this to your will. Uh, so I was interested in the idea of this old school kind of, you know, star field that we used to see as screensavers and now uh, set it to, you know, give it a unique feel and, and taste that is very, uh, you know, today's time, something that is uh, closer to, uh, you know, the VR scene or the VJ scene, excuse me. Uh, so this is Star Wayfarer. Uh, you can set it to your, your, uh, your transport beat. Um, you can also set it to just trigger so that it's triggered on the actual beat itself that you, you know, choose. Um, I've also set up metronome, which is at a set rate of speed or a pulse of speed. Um, you can increase that or decrease that as you see fit. And you also have the release time, um, which is very similar to what I've done before in the past. Um, so if I change the uh, internal, the, the initial star speed, it'll it'll move at a certain like a, a, a slowness to the uh, to the uh, rate of of uh, movement and then you hit the beat trigger and it should uh, trigger once I increase the beat trigger. So now if I just trigger and hit the, the trigger you'll notice it it goes a very small distance but if I uh, increase the release distance or the release time it'll go much further. Uh, so that's how that works. Um, I also have the option to rotate left and rotate right. And then a whole series of options up here at the top. So these are um, just various different things. Um, you'll notice that there's this kind of red, blue, green hue uh, that's from this chroma here. You can turn it down or turn it off completely, or you can really bump it up. But after a certain distance, it will just kind of fade off into the distance. I thought maybe there may be a reason why people might want that kind of look where you can see little pieces of it showing through. Uh, I thought that would be visually interesting for some, so that's the reason why I kind of left it as is. Uh, there may be an instance where you want, might want that, so, and I didn't see an issue, you know, allowing for that. Um, so anyways, you have uh, star width, which is the size of the, the, the width of the stars. Um, I also have star texture, which is, uh, it, it's, it's basically a, um, it's a UV map that's basically um, changing the, the, um, how the stars are being displaced. Uh, so in behind the scenes, you'll get these little smattering of like lo what looks like stars off in the distance kind of interacting with the rest of it. That's all kind of adjusted or, um, you know, is mixed in um, by basically blending everything on a video mixer. And so these are all the different options that you have available to you. Um, they give you all kinds of different um, features, and, and I thought it was good to add them because there may be instances where you want to have that certain kind of look and feel. Um, for instance, uh, you know, there's exclusion. Uh, if I, and there's, there, they all interact differently with, with how this is all set up. Uh, in some cases, you'll get this kind of split in the stars. Sometimes the stars will randomly disappear on their own, and it has to do with how they all interact with the uh, the blend mode. Uh, so there are certain instances where you'll get really interesting ex uh, results, like in this one where it kind of bends the edges, right? I think that's visually interesting. Uh, so I thought, you know, leave that as is. Uh, and so you can uh, play with the opacity of the texture and the noise of the texture and how its frequency, how it's set up. And so you'll get some really interesting results. And so I thought maybe that'd be something that people would be interested in. Uh, then there's the texture stretch, just basically stretches the texture, uh, you know, closer to the middle or, or stretches it out so that it gives you a different result. Um, so I thought there'd be instances where that may be uh, desired. Um, also, you have your initial star speed, right? So this is how fast the stars move uh, on the initial start. And then you also have the transport beat, which is moving up the release time. But also, I'm just going to go back to just trigger because this will help to kind of explain this. Um, there was instances where I realized that you may want the stars to start at a different time. Uh, you also may want the stars to move at a certain different speed. So what I did was I added this uh, random speed uh, generator, which basically is a one to four, and it randomly generates how fast those stars are gonna move. Uh, so some stars will move faster than others. And every time you hit this, you'll get a different result. You'll notice that sometimes they're slower and sometimes they're faster. So it just kind of randomly generates the speed of those stars. 
Um, so that's that's that. Um, there may be instances where you want that. You want certain stars to move faster than others. Uh, so that's the principle behind there. Uh, to give you an example, I've also put up some presets. So here's some kind of examples of what uh, things you could do with the the star wayfarer. Um, there's also you know this green. There is the blue green, which I thought was visually interesting. Um, I'm a color freak, so I, you know, I see certain things and think, eh, this could be interesting. I, I like how this sets up. This one's kind of, you know, got that kind of uh, radial flash, which I think is kind of interesting. The, the, the buildups is very um, unique. So I thought that could be something that people might want. Um, and again, all these can be set to your transport beat or your metronome. It's up to you. Uh, this one reminded me of Atari, um, you know, playing centipede with those funky colors they used to have. This green, off green, kind of bluish, kind of turquoise color with a red um, just kind of really sat with me. I thought that was visually interesting. And of course, how could you be without a Star Wayfarer without paying homage to uh, your old Windows computer? So anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little uh, tutorial. Uh, thank you very much. Questions, comments, complaints, concerns, uh, you send me an email. Uh, I'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, Jacob at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your interest and have a great day.